Uh, I like our effort in the weight room. It's been a lot better than it's been since I've been here. My senior year, it's probably the best I've ever seen it. Our mentality has gone up a lot more since uh, my freshman through junior year. The, every time like a play would go bad, everyone kind of hang their heads every time a play goes bad. Like Now everyone just kind of forgets about it, and that's the good thing to do, a good mentality, and that's what I really love right now. All right, tell me about this defense. Who are going to be some of the, the standouts on the defensive side of the football, and what position groups really stand out as, as strengths to you? Defensively, uh, I'm not trying to boast, but myself, the end, fast and strong, Sam Walker, outside linebacker and inside linebacker, he can play both. Um, sorry. Zach Christensen, he's a sophomore. He's, he's the strongest kid on our team. Uh, our, our defensive backs are pretty good. They're solid. In our corner, we have a freshman corner who's doing pretty well for himself right now. So I feel like overall we have a young team, but they're doing, they're holding their own. Um, offensively, tell me about this offense. Uh, I know not a lot of starters returning. You graduated a lot of good players. Um, so who are some of the guys that are going to step into bigger roles and what are some of the strengths of this team offensively? So we have an all new offensive line. Uh, let me think. One senior, two, three juniors, okay. and two, one freshman and one sophomore, I believe is what it is. And so last year we had all senior line, but the thing is, that just because they're all seniors, they only like one or two of them were really good. The rest weren't very athletic. This team's more athletic based right now, and that's what I like. And they're just as strong, if not stronger, than what last year's entire uh, senior line was. That kind of leads into my next question is, you know, last season you got a couple of W's, I believe two. Yeah. But I know you want more this season. So what yeah. is the key to doing that? What do you learn from last year? Um, so there's only one game or two that I have in mind, whereas really we, it was just a bad day for us. But like every other loss we had, it was always by a touchdown or maybe a touchdown and a field goal. And I think with that, that just comes down to mentality in the fourth quarter, learning how to finish a game. And I don't think we knew how to do that last year. And this year we got to scrimmage some good teams. And we kind of had that mentality on just finishing, even though we get good drives. Because last year we just have good drives and we just quit because, oh, we did good. And now we, need, we can rest. No, we're doing a lot better about that this year. And I really like that. Um, this year we're a lot stronger up front. Uh, we got a fresh five linemen up front. They're a little young, but a lot physically stronger than last year. Um, as far as that goes, uh, as a quarterback who has experience, how do you coach those guys up? How do you get them ready for what they're going to be able to expect on Friday nights in the Northeast State? Um, you just got to be tough on them. You got you to gotta throw everything that could possibly come at them on a Friday night at them every single day. I mean, sometimes there's some, some things that they struggle with. They're a little younger. So we just try to give them some experience with those things that they might face on a Friday. Now, you're a junior, but this is your third year as a starting quarterback, correct? Yeah. Um, so what have you learned from last season and the season before that that you can apply now that you're an upperclassman to lead this team offensively? Um, you know, you just got to be in charge out there. And this year, I got to I got to turn the ball over a lot less. I threw a lot of interceptions last year, so I'm going to have to be a lot a lot more careful in my reads. And I think I'm a year older and my year, I'm a year more experienced, so I think I'll be able to do that. If I read things correctly, you guys only have two of the 11 starters coming back on offense, but it's quarterback and it's Max at running back, correct? So that's a pretty good combo. Max is junior two, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Um, you guys have played a lot of snaps. How do you go about leading the offense and making sure that, you know, Norwell gets to where it wants to be in terms of the offensive side of the football? I mean, me and Max, we've been quarterback and running back since fifth grade, so we work well together. We know each other. So I think having us always on the same page really helps keep the rest of the offense on the same page. So I think having us together is a good, good thing back there. What's the biggest key for Dorwell to have more W's this season than you did last? Uh, we're going to come out with a lot of intensity this year. We're going to finish games strong. We're going to start games strong. We're just going to play all four quarters tough. Well, last year and the couple years before, we haven't been super good. We didn't win a lot of games. And these, uh, these guys over here, are, we're working harder and we're strong, way stronger than we used to be. Our whole new offensive line and everyone's getting stronger in the weight room and such. You know, um, not a lot of returning starters on offense. I believe it's just two, but it's quarterback and yourself at running back. Oh. Uh, how do you go about leading this offense and making sure you go, you guys find the end zone more in 2019? Well, I'm not more of a vocal leader on my team. I leave that to Eli mostly, Eli Riley, our quarterback. I like to lead by example, and everyone really knows what they're doing already, and I think he's got it covered. What do you like about this offense? What are going to be some of the strengths of the offense? Um, I like our run game and our kind of new dynamic that we have. And the line really knows what they're doing, and we can get some good yards out of that. What's the biggest thing that you guys learned, not only individually but as a team, last year that you guys could apply this time around? What was that? What did you guys learn from last year that you can apply? Um, 
Well, we learned that we're not always going to be the best team, but we're going to have the the biggest fight. And we've gotten every one of those games last year. We were close to winning, but now this year, we're uh, we're finally going to start winning some. Yeah, what's what's the key to getting over that hump from where you know you guys are competitive in a lot of these games through halftime, through the third quarter. Yeah. Um, but you know, playing four quarters, I guess, is probably one of the things that you guys are focusing on. I guess we just broke down probably fourth quarter. We didn't. We got probably nervous and in the heat of the moment, we didn't know our assignments and just little mistakes. But I think we cleaned it up now. Tell me about this defense. What do you like about this team defensively here in 2019? Uh, Matt Taylor. He's. That's all you gotta know. That's our, he's our defensive coordinator, and he'll, he'll do whatever he wants to do. What do you think are going to be some of the strengths? I mean, position groups, and who are some of the guys that are going to be playing bigger roles? Uh, Joel Rinkenberger, myself, um, Kale. Um, our corners will probably be really good, and I think that's it. So you've been around these guys. You've uh, gotten a chance to build up the feeder program, get everybody in and what you do offensively and defensively. Um, what kind of heading into your fourth season is your mentality as you lead this snowball football program? Yeah, you know, we've been telling the kids since, uh, oh, probably since early January that they have everything that they need to be a successful team. And I think when you've been in the, the situation we've been, where, when wins have been hard to come by, it's hard for those kids to believe that. And mentally, we've got to get, we've got to change that mindset, and, and they've got to realize that they can be good and that they're equipped to be a good team. We think we've got some good leaders who are sending that kind of message. Practices have been good and crisp. We're a stronger team than what we were a year ago, so we're excited about this season. You take a look at this team offensively, only two of the 11 starters come back, but it's always nice to have a, a third-year starting quarterback and a running back that has experience. So yeah. how do those guys lead the team, and what do you see as being some of the strengths of what you guys do offensively? You know what? We're going to put in some more two-back set this year just based on personnel. We've got uh, Kale Gray. You saw him on the interview. He's a big, thick, muscular kid. Sixth in the state the wrestling state finals last year. He's going to be a kind of a battering ram fullback for us a little bit. Uh, we're stronger up front than what we were. We're younger, but we're stronger. And, uh, and so that bodes well. We, we're going to try to be able to run the football a little bit more. And, and we've got to be a more efficient offense, better on first down. We've got to convert better on third downs. Uh, Eli and Max will provide some good leadership for us. They understand what we're doing and, and how we're trying to get after it. So uh, we're excited offensively. We think we can score some more points this year. Tell me about this defense. What is going to stand out to you in terms of position groups and individual players and who are guys that are going to be stepping into bigger roles on Friday nights for the Knights? Well, I think a guy that you're going to notice right away is Joel Rinkenberger. He, he, he was our leading tackler until he went down with an injury uh, after week five. Um, and then we, we didn't have him down the home stretch. And we, and we struggled a little bit defensively because of that. Uh, we bring back Kale as an all-conference defensive end for us. He's, he's going to be a load for people to handle. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to see Max Ringer playing some linebacker. We move Bo Morgan from a corner as a sophomore back to safety. And Eli will, and Eli, be, Eli Riley will be a safety for us as well. Some new corners with Mason Dehoff, and it looks like Luke Graft right now. Um, and outside linebackers, Jace Cheney and Sam Walker. We're excited about that. Zach Christensen to be a sophomore who's a big, strong kid to be a nose tackle for us. And, you know, the other end, probably Quinn Dryband. We've got a lot of guys up front that we can mix in and, and can do some good things for us. Only been, you know, four days into camp, but uh, what do you think is going to be the biggest key? What's the biggest thing that you're focusing on as we get ready for 2019? Well, we don't have huge numbers. We're, we're a small senior class and a small sophomore class, so we've got we've to be in good shape and we've got to stay injury free. Uh, the kids are working hard. They're getting better te technique-wise. We're pretty solid. We just, we've got to stay injury free and, and, uh, and we've got to get a little bit better every day and the off offensive execution has got to keep getting better so we can be effective. All right. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? No, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for coming out. Yep.